Hey Lailene, welcome to my channel, the place where we talk about the art of finding our power so that we one day can change the world. In today's video, I just want to quickly talk to you about the secret of achieving your goals in 2020. First of all, I just want to acknowledge that many of us had huge goals for this year. For whatever reason, when we have like a big year like 2020, it just feels so monumental. And of course, the beginning of the year, we always want to work on ourselves and we have our goals and everything. But I bet you that this year, so many of us had huge goals and most of us feel like the coronavirus just totally crushed the possibility of us achieving a lot of those goals, especially if they're goals that have to do with interacting with other people or maybe making money, starting your business. But I want to talk to you about how, if we're healthy during the beginning of 2020, Right now is a perfect time for us to prep ourselves and work on our personal growth so that by the time that this whole quarantine is over, we can go out there and conquer. First of all, so many of us have been taught to measure all of our goals or success, how we're doing in life with outside metrics, money, followers, are we going to the right parties? Do we have expensive clothes? And of course, all those things are true and it's not wrong to desire those things. But of course, right now, most of us are stuck at home and if we're lucky, we're just healthy and trying to figure out what the hell to do with our time. <laughs> Which is why I wanna to talk to you about how to set yourself up for success for when this whole quarantine is over, that you can go after your goals. In the book, The Seed of the Soul by Gary Sukaf, I learned of this concept called authentic power. He calls authentic power to the power that resides within you and that is based on things that can never be acquired or taken from you. That means that a rich person can be completely devoid of personal power, of authentic power, even though they have all the money in the world. Yet, at the same time, you can find a person that lives in the streets, may not have possessions, may not have an education, may not have financial or you know any kind of other success that we recognize in society by things that we accumulate. And that person can still be 100% empowered and carry themselves in a way that is authentic to who they are and has a strong influence on those around them. Personal power cannot be attained by chasing money, status, relationships. Like I said, nothing that is outside yourself. It already exists within you and it just comes down to you to number one, recognize it, number two, nurture it, and of course, then present it to the world. And according to Gary Sukav's book, authentic power is just, number one, how we come across to people and the effect that we have upon others. So for example, are you a person that's positive and that uplifts other people? Or are you a person that's negative, that's always trying to bring people down, if you feel insecure, are you a person that's always making sure that nobody around you feels better than what you think you feel like? I think you kind of know what I'm getting at. So that's why I feel like right now that we're all in quarantine and self-isolation, it is the perfect time for you to work on your personal growth and your authentic power. The reason why I think personal growth is extremely important to attaining our goals is because if you're anything like me and you can look back at your own life, you can probably find instances in which you were chasing things that at the end didn't really make you happy. Some examples would be there were moments in my life where I was feeling, for example, lonely, sad, and I went after people that I wouldn't have gone after, whether in a romantic sense or just a friendship sense, where if I was feeling confident in who I am and what I have around me, I would have never allowed them into my life because I would have been standing in my authentic power. So if you can extend that idea into every situation of your life, if you're in a place where you're in alignment with your, who you are and your personal power, then you're gonna go after things that are truly beneficial to you and that you actually desire And now I know I said in my last video that this is not the time to be working on our productivity, but the difference to me between personal growth and productivity is that personal growth has no deadlines. You can't really say, okay, today I'm gonna be stronger. And by the end of the day, <laughs> I'm gonna be fully confident and have presence and carry myself really well in front of everyone. 
it's not gonna happen right it's gonna be little by little you can't really work you can't really make a checklist or deadlines when it comes to your personal growth and so that's why to me productivity and personal growth are not necessarily the same thing now how do you work in your personal growth i think it's kind of perfect that we're all isolated or quarantined right now because who are we mostly interacting with the people that are closest to us our family members our friends and with those people that you have the most confidence uh, with you you're most likely to be who you truly are for better or for worse and you can fully examine the areas of your life in which you think you should be better or you could be better for example i shared in my last video that i will admit that i tend to go from one activity to the other and not get enough rest and just trying to get things done things done things done all the time so for me this is just a great time for me to like slow down a little bit and focus on one thing other than like obviously my work because i gotta pay my rent which is my youtube right another personal thing that i want to work on right now is keeping in touch with people better than i usually do i'm really bad at keeping in touch with people because like for me what i usually do is i hang out with people that i like so it's very difficult for me to constantly like be calling texting I don't like to be in constant communication with people and so because I cannot see people obviously right now we can't leave our homes um, except for essential activities I'm working really hard on being a better at communicating and keeping in touch with the people that I truly want to keep in touch with and that I care about and when it comes to personal growth there's no right or wrong way to do it there's no timeline no deadlines go at your own pace maybe focus on the things that you feel like will benefit you will support you so that when this quarantine is over we can go after those goals that involve other people you know outside of where you live <laughs> like for example for me i was really excited to go to a tournament right now i can't really do martial arts like with people obviously so you better believe i'm working on my mentality every single day as much as possible right now i'm personally reading gabriel bernstein's super attractor and if you're interested in any self-help or personal growth or anything like that i recommend her books i really like what she talks about and like she has many strategies for coping with all kinds of things in your life she also has a youtube channel if you'd like to get started that way and kind of without investing on her books because of course not all of us have the money to invest on something we don't even know if we'll like so anyway <laughs> that's it for today's video thank you so much for watching if you still are subscribe if you like to continue talking about world domination and before i end this video i just want to make a quick clarification regarding my channel so for all subscribers you've probably been wondering what the hell i've been putting up lately <laughs> i know i kind of mentioned it here and there like i'm having a hard time understanding what is the purpose of my channel and i finally understood i finally Got the clarification i needed my channel from this point forward is gonna be about empowerment self-help and anything that helps us be strong and nurture who we are when i graduated college my big goal became how can i empower people so that they can feel like we can change the world and change all the little problems that exist because most of them are man-made and don't need to exist and i know it sounds really dumb that i could possibly be confused about that because to this day that remains my goal but i had a hard time understanding how to translate that into a youtube channel and so now if you go into my youtube channel i've deleted all of my well i haven't deleted them i've unlisted them i made them private all of my videos that have nothing to do with personal growth power self-help anything like that and from now on I will try my best, my absolute very best, to only make videos about that. And so if I've confused you with my past videos, I deeply apologize. From now on, I will only talk about empowerment, personal growth, self-help, because it is my true desire to help people feel strong so that we can change the world. So if you're at a point in your life where you're into that kind of thing, if you've been guided to this video and you feel ready to make that jump into your life, go ahead and subscribe. If you do not like those kinds of videos, I am so sorry, but I will understand if you have to unsubscribe. I know when I subscribe to a YouTube channel and they start making all kinds of random videos, I unsubscribe, so I will understand, don't worry about it. But yeah, thank you for everybody that's like, 
been supporting me through this weird period <laughs> this whole time because the funny thing is I didn't even how to delete most of my videos I knew in my heart what I wanted to make I just really had a hard time communicating what it was that I was trying to do so now that I got that clarification I'm ready to go forward and like I said 2020 is all of our years I'm ready to go forward and conquer and just like many of you which is why I made this video so I have 24 video ideas planned for the next you know 24 weeks basically and they're all having to do with self-empowerment self-help personal growth which is like 100% a miracle because once I got clear about what I want to do I can actually go ahead and achieve it and why I'm telling you that this is a good time to focus on your personal growth because once you are clear and on the inside it's so much easier to go out and take action so anyway if you like those kinds of videos go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one